Hi, everyone. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share uh, some of my ideas on uh, game AI evaluation, which is, uh, I think, an uh, important uh, topic of AI. Well, I will uh, uh, develop, uh, develop the story of this talk following, uh, following this uh, theme that first I will give uh, my motivation why uh, I uh, concentrate on the game AI evaluation. Uh, well, the reason why uh, this is important. And then, uh, well, I will explain uh, why game-based game AI competition is uh, an important uh, way to evaluate uh, AIs. And also we collected some uh, game-based AI competitions and analysis them. Uh, and I will give a summary of these competitions. And then I will analyze the factors that uh, will impact uh, the evaluation in the competition. Because we, uh, in fact, we have been uh, working on hosting uh, competitions for years, and we also have some um, experience on how to organize uh, competition and uh, how to evaluate the AIs, the the the, the ro robotic the bots in the competition, and. Uh, Mm, recently, well, uh, more and more competitions are held uh, at an uh, online platform. And we also uh, host an uh, online platform, which is Bozone.org. I will uh, roughly introduce that platform and uh, introduce uh, what we we are going to use this platform to organize some long-term competition. And also recently we, uh, we uh, did some work on a brand new AI evaluation uh, research, which is based on the Monte Carlo tree search uh, method. Well, um, we are hoping that this method can compare the intelligence level between uh, AIs created for different games. Uh, that means that we can compare, uh, well, um, compare AIs that uh, did different jobs. Uh, and also we'll, we want to use this method to to measure uh, well, the value of human experience, which we use, uh, well, we, we use some, uh, in, in many uh, uh, algorithms we, uh, we developed for uh, playing AIs, we, uh, we incorporate uh, human uh, experience and we are trying to uh, evaluate or measure the value of the human uh, experience. Uh, at last, I will uh, give some uh, challenges and future work um, in this topic. Okay, well, uh, why game AI evaluation is a crucial part of AI development? First, uh, well, in uh, my opinion, intelligence exists when we measure it. Well, when, well we human beings think we are intelligent uh, because we think we, we, we can do things better than animals, the, any kind of animals. Well, that's a comparison in between that we, we compare ourselves with animals. Uh, and also, if we want to tell whether a machine is intelligent, we need to compare uh, the machine or the program with uh, something else, maybe compare with human beings. Uh, well, maybe uh, that's, that's the first uh, opinion that we, when we measure it, intelligence exists. So we need to well, uh, 
to do uh, something in measuring the intelligence. The second is that, uh, well, when we try to measuring uh, intelligence, uh, when we uh, try to make a computation on some other kind of measurement, we, in fact, we are trying to depict our imagination of intelligence because we should clearly define what kind of things uh, is intelligent, what, 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 uh, what's better than others. So that's uh, a, uh, a process in clearly uh, describe our imagination of intelligence. So it's a very interesting uh, part of our uh, research. And uh, also the definition of artificial intelligence is changing over time because when uh, AI fulfill our expectation, we give it a new goal to pursue. So for example, in game AI, well, we, uh, we let the machine to play checker, chess, go, poker, mazian. Well, uh, each time when uh, AI can uh, beat a human being, we let uh, the machine to play a uh, much higher, a uh, uh, more difficult ones. So, uh, well, so well, in our mind, the, the definition of AI is always changing. We just hope that AI can be more and more intelligent. So uh, AI research, and also uh, from the other hand, another hand, uh, uh, well, AI research is updating our recognition of intelligence of both machine and human beings. In the way of doing artificial intelligence, we can better understand ourselves and we try to describe what we think uh, or what we make decisions, the process, and also uh, well, uh, from other research area of uh, psychology or, or other discipline, uh, well, we also renew our uh, mind of uh, intelligence. So not only we, we, in fact, we are interested not only the machine intelligence, but also human being intelligence. So this, uh, this is a very interesting thing to think about ourselves and uh, to, transplant our understanding of our intelligence to the machine. And also sometimes the machine will challenge us as well. And uh, uh, at that time, well, we maybe uh, improve ourselves and to become a better uh, human beings. Um, well, and uh, also, uh, in fact, most researchers need a well-defined problem. Uh, well, it's, uh, especially for those young students, sometimes when some, uh, somebody uh, posts uh, a series of uh, well-defined problems, mm, there will be more researchers or fans of AIs to join this group to do the research to try to answer these questions. So, well, to define, to clearly define a problem will attract more people uh, to devote their endeavor into uh, this area. So uh, that's another reason for, uh, for AI evaluation is uh, important part of AI development. And uh, also holding a competition is a good way for AI evaluation. Uh, in fact, uh, well, uh, most of the time when we want to uh, do the AI evaluation, we hold a competition. Sometimes we hold a competition between a machine and a human being. For example, the uh, Kasparov, uh, the, the Deep Blue uh, beat Kasparov uh, uh, and AlphaGo beat uh, uh, Li yeah. That's uh, that's the uh, well the the highlight point uh, of uh, a competition between human beings and the machine. And uh, sometimes, uh, well, we just uh, do a competition between uh, machine and machine. Uh, between program and program, <clears throat> that's a uh, <clears throat> that's a, a a way we want to have a high, higher level uh, intelligent 
uh, program. So, well, uh, this uh, this uh, reason for this reason, I uh, I think game AI evaluation is a crucial part of AI development. It uh, play an important uh, important role uh, in the process of AI de uh, development. And let's look uh, in detail of game based AI competition. First, uh, I think game-based AI competition as uh, AI evaluation message. That's because, well, uh, uh, in holding a competition, we should clear and accurate do the problem definition. And we use the unified platform in enrollment in, uh, for a fair uh, judgment. And also we uh, we use a uh, fire performance evaluation mechanism. Uh, and also uh, sometimes we uh, provide an open data set and uh, set up baselines. Uh, for all this work, uh, we can attract more researchers. And so the communication is also a research approach. First, well, uh, in holding this, uh, plus uh, uh, some uh, bonus will attract more researchers to involve. And uh, uh, usually uh, after the competition, we will uh, give the open source, uh, uh, well, open, uh, open source all the uh, AIs participate in the competition and uh, others can, uh, well, uh, learn from these examples and also researchers can learn from each other. And also uh, competitions connect the academia and the industry because most of the competition are held uh, jointly by universities and companies. And uh, for all those annually uh, uh, held uh, competitions, will help us to measure periodically progress on a certain uh, area and uh, we can set uh, uh, milestones uh, and so make the um, progress step by step and also um, competition regularly held uh, competitions form a research loop that you uh, uh, in the competition, you set up the task, and in uh, in order to uh, well uh, to do the task, the technology uh, uh, would uh, progress. Uh, once the task uh, is uh, well perfectly uh, so, uh, finished, we can upgrade the task. We, we got a brand new task and then new advanced technology will be developed. So that's a spiral uh, process. Uh, during uh, this process, the technology will advance uh, accordingly. So commentation is also a research approach. Uh, uh, it can help to uh, absorb more researchers stick into one check of uh, problems and get those problems solved uh, in that way to accelerate the progress of technology. Well, uh, according to mm, the above reason, we collect uh, some competitions uh, which are uh, uh, holding in uh, conferences. Well, we, we care about the conference about uh, triple AI. Uh, also, uh, we have two uh, uh, for young student competitions, which is SMICPC and NOI National Olympic Informatics, because we, uh, we, uh, we have been, uh, uh, we have been holding uh, AI competition along with these two uh, competition. Uh, even though these two competition, is, uh, the main, the main, uh, the major competition is not a focus on AI competition. But when we uh, host the, the competition, we um, we uh, in the meantime hold uh, AI competition uh, as well. 
And uh, uh, another conference is uh, artificial intelligence for interactive digital entertainment conference, and also IEEE conference on games, international joint conference on artificial intelligence, and a conference on neural information uh, processing systems. So uh, the, this uh, conference is uh, uh, very popular uh, top level AI conferences. And uh, recently, uh, there are more and more competitions are holding, are holding uh, along with this conference and attract more researcher in this area. Well, uh, let's look at the games uh, uh, used uh, in these competitions. Uh, well, uh, recently, well, uh, here are the universities that the hoster, the organizer of the competition. Here's the name of the competition. Uh, that's uh, the, full name, the full name of the competition, which including the International General Game Playing Competition, ca Computer Poker Competition, Simulated Car Racing Competition, StarCraft AI Competition, uh, Fighting Game AI Competition, General Video Game AI Competition, Mahjong AI uh, Competition, Pac-Man AI, AI Competition, Terrace, uh, AI competition, Pullman Man competition, Hearthstone AI competition, and those competitions are held uh, by uh, mostly by universities and uh, some uh, will uh, host by joint uh, work of uh, several universities. Well, uh, this is the year. Uh, yeah, we can see well uh, uh, the GGP general game playing, which is hosted, uh, holding uh, along with uh, Triple AI from uh, 2005 and lasting to 2016. And the poker host, uh, uh, hosted in Triple AI and uh, EJK. Well, uh, start from 2006, and uh, well, this uh, this competition uh, may develop year after year to put into uh, some uh, new to add some new checks and also uh, also uh, well change uh, the rules a little bit to uh, well to to. Uh, well, to attract some, to facilitate the advance of some new technology. And uh, also the SCRC uh, host, uh, holding from, uh, from the year of 2007 and uh, lasting for 2017. Well, uh, yeah, well, this, this number, uh, uh, says that how many tracks are holding for this uh, competition. Sometimes we have multi tracks for a competition uh, uh, for setting up different goals and attract a different uh, interest uh, researchers to, well, to develop in different di uh, directions. For example, well, for, uh, for a game, uh, sometimes we we are uh, focusing on uh, to develop uh, a more uh, advanced uh, game AI to play in the game, and sometimes we uh, we focus how to use AI to generate uh, the material uh, uh, for the uh, for uh, the for the game. Uh, for example, some uh, maps. Uh, uh, some uh, non-human uh, being uh, factor. Uh, and also uh, sometimes we are focusing on uh, to analysis uh, the behavior of human beings or the behavior of uh, game AIs. So we, uh, we have different check competition for different goals. Uh, now in the StarCraft 
uh, lasting um, till uh, 2020 till now. And uh, this year, well, this year we uh, host uh, Ma Jiang, the, the national Chinese uh, national uh, Ma Jiang in, uh, well, along with the Ijeka uh, is still uh, <clears throat> ongoing and uh, uh, who, uh, are interested in this uh, uh, competition may join our uh, event to uh, participate in this competition. It's a quite interesting competition. We had been uh, host uh, a Mazian competition in the year of 2014, which is uh, in the National Olympic Informatics. That's a simplified version of Mazian. Uh, and also the in uh, the year of 2016 and the year of 2017, we hosted two uh, game AI competition along with the ASM ICPC regional contest, Asia regional contest. Yeah. Well, uh, this uh, is a, a glance of the competitions we collected uh, from those conferences. And let's look particular at the games, the property, the properties uh, uh, of this, the games. Uh, well, uh, we have uh, we have this uh, properties uh, to describe uh, a game that. Uh, well, this is the uh, the number of agents playing in this uh, in in the game, and uh, uh, we right now we are focusing on uh, two player or more than two player uh, games, um, and uh, well, uh, in during the uh, the games, well, uh, the players most of the time for two. Well, for a two-player game, uh, their relationship is competition. They compete with each other. But for those uh, play, uh, more than two players, for example, three, four, or, or, or even more players, they have a relationship of competition, which means that uh, some of them cooperate with each other and to fight with another group of uh, players. Uh, but sometimes uh, this kind of uh, cooperation may change during the competition. So um, we, we call this a relationship competition. And uh, this property is determine, uh, determinate or not determinate, which is the deterministic uh, means that um, well the the uh, status uh, when when uh, you uh, make an action in uh, status uh, well the next status and the effect of the action will be certain. Uh, will not vary from time to time. Uh, that's a deterministic uh, game. And uh, some of the games uh, are deterministic, but some of others are not. And uh, also the game, uh, whether the game is uh, uh, complete information, with complete information or not, that uh, we, by using the uh, information completeness, uh, we, we, we mean that whether you know the whole uh, status information or not. For example, uh, when, we, uh, when we play Mazian, we don't know uh, well uh, those uh, uh, speeds uh, of uh, other uh, players. That's an incomplete uh, game. And also uh, the playing, uh, well, uh, the, the also uh, there is a property we named uh, is term based or tick based, which means that uh, did you play ten uh, one player after another? 
you don't play at the same time. Or some in some games, you know, the the players uh, take action at the same time, and also, uh, well, maybe you 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 may uh, it's a lasting and it, it will changing over time. Or you you have a slice of time time slice to to make turns. Uh, that's another property, and uh, also well. Um, um, Mm, the the space the uh, both the standard space and the action space may be discrete or continuous, uh, and uh, yeah, that this the standard space and the action space, and uh, also well the uh, uh, the evaluation uh, method whether it's uh, well, I will exchange later on uh, for these uh, properties, how these properties will impact uh, our evaluation of, uh, of the AIs during a competition. All these properties will have some impact, uh, will make our, uh, to, to impact our decision, how to uh, do the, um, how to describe the, uh, the competition, how to make the judgment. So um, I will explain um, this later on. Well, a competition process, uh, well, in the competition, game AIs compete with each other and finally a champion is selected. That's the major uh, process of competition. So we can describe this process uh, well, we, we can regard this process as a task of sorting that given each player's ranking, uh, that means uh, finally you give each player a, a, a rank. Or maybe in some uh, competition, we just want to find out who is the champion. And uh, that's a find max uh, uh, task that we just want to find uh, the, the, the best one. And well, uh, in dealing with this sorting process, well, the basic, uh, well, uh, the the basic uh, is that we have a basic compare operator, which is a match of two or more players according to the game rule. That that's when we have two or more players sitting on a table or uh, come together to have a match, we can decide who is the best and who is better than whom. So this is a basic compare, uh, compare, uh, comparison operator. And with this uh, comparison operator, we, we need to have a sorting. Uh, that's uh, the whole competition is uh, a sorting task. Now we, in, in, in this sorting task, we just uh, scaling the match of selected player pairs or a set of players. So, well, when we think about a uh, competition, uh, we, we will have two layers of uh, problems to tackle. Uh, the first layer is the comparison operator level, that's what game you used and the details, how to score in uh, during a match. And uh, the second level is uh, the sorting level, that's how to arrange, how to scale, uh, uh, scale uh, uh, this uh, match uh, so that we can finally find uh, find the, the champion or we can uh, give each player a rank. And uh, the sorting level, uh, well, we, we usually, uh, we, we may, first we, we may uh, divide the competition in different uh, stage uh, some uh, some uh, competition will have a basic test and other one other test. That means that we uh, we have uh, that's similar to uh, uh, well uh, uh, isolate competition that uh, you have a compulsory poses and a free poses. Uh, in that way, we measure. Uh, well, the ability, the intelligence level of uh, the competitioners. Um, 
And uh, sometimes we, we will uh, divide the stage in two stages. For the first stage, uh, we have a practice round. Uh, during the practice round, we uh, try to help attract more researchers to join the competition and help them practice on the platform or some uh, predefined uh, test uh, 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 platforms uh, to uh, get familiar with the game and get familiar with the rules. And then we hold a competi uh, competition, uh, uh, <clears throat> a real uh, competition to, to select the champion. And in some other competitions, we, uh, we have so many competitioners we have so many participants and we have a qualifier stage and a final. Uh, for example, we in, during the uh, qualifier uh, stage, we just uh, select the top eight or top 16 players and then do the final round. And uh, for a tournament system is that we, how we uh, scheduling how we schedule the, the matches. Uh, there are several uh, kind of, uh, well, maybe I, I need to speed up, speed up. Uh, so we, we have different types uh, of uh, uh, scheduling the, the, the matches and also how to uh, do the ranking. We, uh, maybe we can just uh, do a general uh, sorting or we use the uh, LO uh, rating ladder ranking or we well, well maybe we just uh, count the victory uh, the, the number of victories uh, uh, in fact I uh, uh, well uh, in this talk I I want to put some effort on the new Monte Carlo equi uh, equivalent method. Well, uh, I think I should speed up uh, in the talk to come to this uh, interesting topic. And also, well, we, uh, we need some competition platform uh, and, uh, uh, well, it's Mm, these factors uh, will impact the evaluation in the competition. Uh, as I have said, that the number of agents, deterministic or non-deterministic, complete or incomplete information, turn-based, take-based. For each of the property, we will care about uh, the, uh, the competition rule to uh, adapt to these uh, uh, factors. Uh, for example, well, when, when you schedule a, a, a competition for more than three players, you should think about the sitting position, uh, the different uh, combination, uh, different combination of players may impact the uh, result of the competition. So you need more tests or uh, a schedule, arrange more matches uh, in order to get a fair uh, result. Uh, also for the non-deterministic uh, well, games, you, you still need uh, more testing to overcome the uh, well the randomness result, uh, and also the uh, the technologies used in the AIs also will impact our evaluation process. For example, if you use some uh, neural network based uh, uh, method, then we need to provide some training data in before, and also we need to. Uh, provide um, extra memory for the model. So, uh, well, um, the techniques also have some requirement for the computation. Well, here is an example of the platform, online platform for holding, uh, hosting a computation. Well, uh, well we host a uh, botzoom.org uh, 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 platform, which uh, on which platform we have different kind of games. Well, many games, and also we uh, host uh, many regularly uh, host some competitions. 
uh, well, all these competitions. And also for each game, we have the ranking list and also we can replay it, uh, and uh, we have the uh, the log to uh, the log data uh, for uh, download so that you can use the log data to provide some uh, to develop some uh, new uh, AIs. Um, so this, uh, this is uh, interface for the Marcia. Okay, well, uh, in fact, when uh, we host uh, an online platform, and we, uh, we, we can on that platform uh, for a long-term competition. For example, we can host a uh, competition for one year or several years. Uh, well, uh, then uh, we will be facing uh, a new problem that uh, we should evaluate a lot of both fast and fair and also uh, along uh, with time going on we we continuously have new bots joining in and uh, some old bots may have new version and uh, we need to have those uh, bots uh, evaluated uh, fast and uh, uh, fair so that's a big challenge you need some new uh, well algorithm to do this and also, well, uh, we need to better support the machine learning technology. Well, we, uh, if we use machine learning technology, we need uh, some better uh, platform to do the training. And also, well, after training, uh, maybe we can get uh, a bigger model. Uh, then we need to uh, give more uh, space for the model to run during the competition. And also uh, maybe, maybe we can also host a competition that uh, to measure whether a boat can evolve by themselves, uh, which boat can uh, learn fast. Uh, and uh, also uh, we still face the problem of how to judge uh, multiplayer uh, stochastic incomplete information games. Uh, in fact, we uh, uh, how many times we need to uh, make the same uh, match uh, still uh, is still an open problem. Here uh, will uh, arise a new problem is that on the platform we uh, we host a, a modern one modern one uh, games so well uh, those both those AIs are created for a certain uh, game whether we can com uh, compare this uh, uh, this AIs that this both that created for different games do we can have uh, unique drunk list to tell that which boat is the best. Well, that's uh, a challenging and very interesting topic. We, uh, so recently, well, we realized, we, we realized a work which is done by Lindsay PL. Uh, well, uh, it, it's published in, two, uh, in the year of 2019. That's evaluating the complexity of players' strategies using Monte Carlo tree search iterations. I think, we, uh, well, mm, this work is a, a very uh, amazing work and very interesting. So, well, uh, one of our uh, master student, uh, Zheng Fei Wang, <laughs> take this uh, direction as his uh, master degree thesis uh, work and uh, he uh, expanded this uh, method uh, in, well, in uh, drawing the, well, in drawing the problem in Dou uh, Dizhu, Fight the Lord game. And uh, also um, he, well, in this work, he, uh, he defined uh, uh, a term Monte Carlo equivalent. Uh, to describe the intelligent level of AI. And uh, uh, 
another interesting thing uh, in this work is that we try to using use the Monte Carlo equivalent to measure the intelligence level, or not not intelligent level, to measure the value of a, a piece of human beings' experience. Uh, Yeah, in this, uh, well, uh, I here I I suppose that uh, everyone knows uh, Monte Carlo tree search method. If you don't know, well, uh, it's a method that uh, uh, do not demand any pre, uh, uh, well, uh, pre uh, experience or pre uh, ideas of the cer uh, certain uh, game. I just. Uh, uh, use the idea of try and uh, uh, gathering experience and play. So this method, uh, we can use the Monte Carlo tree search method to play any kind of games. So that's the basic for us to uh, develop a way to compare different, uh, both divided for, uh, developed for different games because we can use this Monte Carlo tree search method to solve uh, different uh, kind of games. Uh, so, well, uh, this is uh, a quite general method in playing games. So, uh, but um, in fact, uh, in in this work, we we realized that uh, in uh, traditionally we care about a such tree, we care the size of a such tree, but not the shape of a such tree. But using the Monte Carlo tree search method we should also care about the shape of a such tree because even we use a uh, Monte Carlo tree shape method, it looks the same method. When you use in different games, it will perform differently. Some games just uh, looks e uh, easier to get a uh, good uh, boss to play that game using the Monte Carlo tree shapes, but others are not that, uh, easy to get. Uh, so we, in this work, we try to describe the shape of uh, a such tree, but it's uh, quite mm, well uh, fundamental or quite uh, uh, naive method. We just want to open this, uh, open this direction to attract others to join uh, in this research. And uh, also, well, the, we we can use the Monte Carlo tree search. The key point of the Monte Carlo tree search is that you use uh, iteration to uh, to to try to play the game. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, random uh, random walking. That you 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 randomly uh, try different ways of playing this game and gathering the experience uh, to get your future. Uh, action. Mm, so, well, if you use more iterations, you will gathering more experience, then you will, <clears throat> you are supposed to get better boats. And uh, uh, so, so this numbers of iteration could be a very important, important factor to affect the ability of uh, boats. And uh, Let, let's look at into this work uh, in detail. Well, uh, I will skip this. Uh, before we use the moon color tree search to, uh, to measure uh, the, I think, well, uh, I think uh, I should end the, the talk in nine o'clock. Hi, hi, Fong. Uh, yes. <laughs> So, so I will speed up. Yeah. I will go directly to the uh, to the crucial part. I think which is quite uh, interesting. Well, uh, the the landlord, the Dou Di Zhu. I here I make an, another assumption that everyone here can uh, ha have been uh, playing this game, and you know the rules of this game. That that's uh, uh, a kind of uh, get uh, cut. Uh, game that uh, I think I here I suppose that everyone knows this. So we we use this game to 
to do the measurement. Uh, one work is uh, the definition of Monte Carlo Tissue's difficulty of a game. Well, the, uh, we use this uh, uh, to measure to measure uh, the shape of uh, a such tree that, uh, um, well, uh, how many iterations we use. Uh, the, the n is the number of, uh, iter number of iterations uh, to can watch. Uh, and uh, we also measure the, uh, well, the, uh, The distribution of uh, the iterate the number of uh, iterations, and also we uh, we measure the uh, distributions of the uh, the sign of roots, the average value. Because uh, while well, the, the the major task of uh, our decision is that to, to find the best sign uh, and take that action. So we also measure the value uh, distribution of sense of the root and also the uh, distribution of the uh, depths of the uh, sand. And uh, that's uh, what we find out is we we use uh, the Dodiju uh, games and uh, we just uh, uh, randomly pick up three uh, initial uh, patterns which we got this number. It's not important. The important is that, well, we, we may see the, mm, uh, this, uh, this table described uh, the, the tree of the, the such tree uh, ship roughly of the Do Di Zhu, the, the Fight the Lord uh, game. Uh, it, it looks different signs uh, have different uh, depths, average depths uh, uh, of such tree, and also the value, the average value uh, uh, distribution is that, well, when we look at this uh, one node, that that means that averagely, uh, if you pick, uh, pick up an action randomly, then the, the value is uh, you you may uh, slightly win the, win the game, but if you pick up uh, uh, a worse action, you will lose the game. Uh, that means that uh, you need to uh, have a better uh, uh, a policy to, to win the game. Uh, well, that's, this is a comparison of three games uh, the the Hei Bai Xi, the uh, Othello, uh, the Si Fei Bo Xi, Aware, and Fat Lord. Uh, that's three uh, uh, run of uh, of the game. Uh, well, because of of the time, let, let's look at this picture. Well, that's a tree. That's a tree uh, of three games. For this uh, for this game, well, they have uh, the lens is similar and the length is similar, but uh, the, the depth is similar, but for the Dou Li Zhu is uh, different, different depths and different color means different value. And the, the value varies uh, in Dou Li Zhu, but for these two is not uh, that different. And uh, so two minutes, two minutes to, to explain what we find. Another, um, well, uh, here we, we, we see um, these are some boats, uh, uh, well, submitted to our boatzone.org, and that's the authors, the rank. Well, the first one, the third one, 20, uh, 22, uh, 111, 300, and uh, that's a, uh, uh, stochastic boat. Well, we use this boat and uh, compare this boat with a certain iteration, uh, certain number of iteration of Mon Monte Carlo research method. And we, we got this result that you need to uh, do 1,425 iterations to get a Monte Carlo research equi uh, equivalent AI. 
to to compete with this vote. Well, so uh, that's the uh, Monte Carlo two-search equivalent um, one hundred, and we see this number going uh, going lower. You may see that to compete with a sample vote, you need just uh, uh, 57 iterations to get, uh, uh, to get a vote. Uh, but you want to compete with the number one, you need a lot of, a lot of more uh, iterations to get an equivalent, e uh, <clears throat> equivalent AIS. That's, uh, that's we use uh, the Monte Carlo uh, three-search iteration number to uh, to measure the complexity of a boat, because well we can also use this method to measure boats created for other uh, for other games, uh, not only the uh, Di Zhu. So we can use this number compare uh, boats created for different uh, games. That's the key point is that Monte Carlo research uh, method is a general method can be used in different uh, games. And we can use the iteration as a, a factor, a, a key number to depict the capacity level of a boat. So that's the uh, crucial part of this talk. Now we, we think, you mean that it, uh, you can also know that the Monte Carlo research uh, iteration number also means uh, computer time. Uh, that's uh, the uh, the energy you hold, you, you cost. So uh, that's we think that's a good way to compare both uh, created for different uh, games. And another uh, interesting thing is that we uh, manually pick up three human be human experience in a boat. For example, the, the, the number the, the number one boat uh, use three pieces of human experience in, in that boat. We do an uh, experiment that with that experience, without that experience, we get two different number of iteration number. And we uh, we uh, subtract uh, these two numbers and get a value. We think this value uh, in some degree describe uh, the value of this human experience. Uh, so well, we, we, we may see this uh, piece of human experience is much more valuable than this one. Uh, I think this is quite interesting. And so because of the time, I just want to uh, come to the conclusion that uh, in this uh, uh, topic, we still have many challenges and future work to do, and uh, including the how to evaluate multi-agent uh, uh, tasks and uh, how to evaluate the cooperation ability, and uh, also well how to evaluate uh, AI about evolution ability or learning ability. And uh, well, we need to do more research on the Monte Carlo research difficulty uh, analysis and uh, Monte Carlo uh, research equivalent uh, research, because uh, uh, I'm sure this direction is a very interesting direction. And also we need uh, more better games and platforms for attracting more developers, uh, more researchers to join this uh, research area. Uh, that's all, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Lee, for giving us such a, a very insightful and detailed uh, introduction about the MCTS equivalent. Here I've got some questions from the audience. Um, quest, the, the first question is, uh, what game does Professor Lee think could best show the development of artificial intelligence so far and why? Well, uh, in fact, uh, I'm, I'm biased. I'm biased because I, I prefer, because uh, I'm hosting the uh, National Mahjong, so uh, I prefer the, the Mahjong. Uh, uh, game, 
it's not only because of the technology, but also because of the culture. And I think, well, uh, a scientific work is not isolated from a uh, real life, uh, culture life. So I think, uh, well, our research uh, should be incorporated with culture lab. So I prefer the Mahjong uh, game. Thank you. And the second question, um, I'm just curious about why there are always new methods every year for the competition, which is held for many years. Uh, new method. Uh, oh, in fact, uh, in fact, well, uh, there are two, uh, I think there are two uh, aspects of this question. One is that, in fact, even we, uh, we have the same name of game, uh, we slightly change the game rule year after year. So that could be a new version of the game. So we, uh, uh, we need new technology. And uh, on the other hand, some, some, of the, uh, uh, some of the games cannot be solved for years. So we continuously work on the same game. Is that? Is that answer my question? Thank you. Yeah, I think so. Uh, 